What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You already know who I am. And uh, the intro alone should have told you who I am. So let's get back to the video and let's get back to some points. Let's get back to facts. Let's get back. Let's let's quit going off of emotion. If you're an emotional person, don't come over here. You gotta come over here with tangible results. You gotta come over here with evidence. A lot of you just going off of your feelings, and I'm not listening to that. You gotta quit going off. And you got if you're not a critical thinker, leave me alone. Say your little stupid saying and keep moving. Okay. That being said, today we're going to talk about another group of black lap dogs. Before I talked about the Black National Congress, and now I'm going to talk about the even bigger group of black lap dogs, which is known as the Black Church. Now, before you say anything, I want to define what I'm talking about. I want to explain what I'm talking about. When I say the Black Church, I mean the Black Church as a whole. I'm not going to go through every specific black church and say, well, this black church doesn't do it. Because I know there's black churches that don't, aren't lap dogs. So, if you come at me like that, stay out the argument. You're, you're a side, you're sideline father. Don't be a peasant. But what I'm talking about is these black lap dogs. And I'm, I'm going to give you an example using your own POS, POTUS, President of the United States. Nice to acronyms. All right, President Obama, he went down to Charleston and did the eulogy. He, uh, for the, for one of the people that were, God rest their souls, that were killed. Not one of the live people. And um, he started, first of all, he sung that, he sung that slave song, which black people rarely sing in church anymore. Well, I haven't been in church in a while, so I wouldn't know, maybe you guys do, I mean, you are robotic and listen to anything you're told to, so when you might. But uh, at least on that song, I said to myself, this dude is so far removed from the community, it's sick, man. That's why I never gave y'all that. But that's another story for another day. But he did that, and then he started pulling. Obama had the nerve, and, and I give him credit for this. He, this, 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 he, this showed you the type of balls that your president has. He had the stones, the cojones, to start pulling out scriptures in the church. Now, you're saying, well, why do you say that, Warren Mac? Well, I'm saying that because they passed gay marriage with his consent. He wanted it. So, you want to pull out Bible verses, pull out the Bible verse that shows me it's okay for, 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 for two homosexuals to be together. I'll wait. But yet, in Watson to me, I wait. But, but look, the, the worst part was, none of these lap dogs in the church were saying nothing. Look, there probably wasn't one lap dog that pulled him to the side and said, hey man, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. If he would start pulling out Bible verses like that, I would excuse myself because I'm like, dang, must be this. This is a place of worship, this is a place of God. And you're gonna have the stones to throw out Bible verses that you're going to have the balls and the, the pass, and, and I'm not passed to uh, condone and promote gay marriage. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against two people doing what they want to do. Don't force it on me, which is what happened. And then here's here's a sick, here's here's another part, and I'll talk about it later. But uh, the problem with that is. The black church is, they, they co-sign with everything. The black church used to be hardcore. The black church used to be, this is the word of law, this is the word of God, and yada yada, this, that, and the fifth. This is it, it's either you go by that, or hey, you're going to hell. But now, with the recent event of money, <laughs> it's, the, it's the only thing that you can explain how some of these pastors, you're taking money off of homosexuals and homosexual groups. How can the Reverend Al Sharpton sit by Rachel Maddow and condone what she's doing 
and then be her best buddy on MSNBC. How can Jesse Jackson condone some of the stuff with homosexual marriage? Or is that what really the rainbow is about? <laughs> the fact is, a lot of these black churches, or they're lap dogs, and here's the worst part about it. If they're section 501c3 companies, I mean, like, like, non-profit, they're about to get their asses handed to them. You want to know why? Here's why. Now pay attention. And if you're a 501c3, you best pay attention to If you're a 501c3, whether you like it or not, you're under the jurisdiction of the American government. You're a charity, you know, so you're a charity, you're under the jurisdiction. And if you have some, if you have a land tied to that, that it's under its jurisdiction. Say a homosexual pairing comes into your church and wants to get married. Well, you say, no, I'm not doing that because it's the will of God. I can't let you get married. What they're going to do is, seeing that you fall under the jurisdiction of the, of the government, they're going to go file a lawsuit or file something with the government to make you marry them. And guess what? You're going to have one or two reasons. You're going to one or two things you got to do. You're either going to render under Caesar, which is Caesar's, or you're going to have the cojones to stand up and actually have faith in what you're talking about, about your religion. There's one or two things you're going to do. There is no third option. You're either going to render unto Caesar, which is Caesar's, or you're going to say, look, no, I'm, I'm, I'd rather go profit and get out of this 51C3 and not marry these motherfuckers. Excuse my friends. But this is what the church is going to have to come to find out. Because if it's like now you're getting, I mean, the money was good while I was coming from these groups. And I know like certain churches, certain pastors were getting money from homosexuals. And which, which, by the way, is blood money if you look at the Bible. But these, the churches are lap dogs. They're, all, they're either trying to sleep with your mothers or your grandmothers or your sisters. In some cases, your daughters if they're in their 20s. They're condoning homosexual marriage. And then they try to say, well, we were once slaves. The Jews were once slaves. You don't see all them endorsing gay marriage. Here's the problem with black folks, once again. LBJ had a famous quote. And you can look this up. He said it'll get you, he said, and I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase, I'm gonna use the word he used. This is coming from his staffers. LBJ said, don't have you niggas vote Democratic for the next hundred years. And you know how he did that? Giving y'all pennies, giving y'all dimes, giving y'all trinkets. And guess what? It's been working ever since. You don't question nothing. And now that every time that liberal agenda comes up, they know the black folks, they don't worry about, look, look, here's how bad it is with the Democrats. I mean, they don't even campaign in the black neighborhoods no more. Remember back in the day when they weren't sure if you were going to vote for them? Well, now, especially with Obama, they don't even campaign in the black neighborhoods. They, they, they know that's a lot. If, if, if over 90% of people, black people are voting for Barack Obama, why are we campaigning in their neighborhood? We, look, man, we, 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 we don't care about the other 10%. We, it's cruel. We know we got 90% of the vote. Hey, and what they do is they give you your list. Hey, vote for so, 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 X, Y, Z, and go in. And then, like I said, that, they don't, that's how it is. But the black church is about to get tested. And we're going to see if TJ Jakes, TD Jakes, we're going to see if Creflo Dollar about to see a lot of these other ministers are going to hand either they're, they're either going to render unto Caesar which is Caesar's or they're going to stand up and say this is enough somebody has to take a stand and I'm doing this for God because my God is my higher power and my God is the ultimate supreme court will they do that? I don't know I mean don't forget Creflo Dollar got like 65 million private dollar private just to get. So he might marry a couple of them homos and you know, like, hey, give him some money. You know what I mean? And T.D. Jakes, it was alleged he took money from donations from Tyre Perry. You worked that one out. But the black church as a whole is about to get their asses put to the test. And what I think is going to happen, if you look at the current state of the black church, they're gonna fail. They're gonna. They're gonna take the money. They're gonna. They're gonna duck out. They're gonna some make up. They're gonna make up some excuse to justify this. And then what's gonna happen is 
they're going to say, well, God is love. Yeah, God is love, but God is not same-sex love. Now, I don't want to hear all these people crying in the comments or crying in my inbox about I'm against homosexuals. I can care less what you do. I, it ain't none of my business. I don't, look, look, I've seen two guys kiss. The city that I live in is Columbus, Ohio. I've, I've been living here for like going on 12, 14 years. It's just, it's, they call it Little San Francisco, and rightly so. It ain't called we got the 49ers either. It's because it's one of the, it's like a gay hub. Like I said, I have, I've, downtown, I've been downtown before. I've seen men kiss, and it didn't freak me out because that's their business. Like I said, it's not their business. When you throw this stuff on my desk, on my lap, well, yes, then I have to say something. Because now you're forcing me to do go to a gym. And like I said, pretty soon I have a lot of people going off the grid because the government's cracking down, and they're worried about us, and well, I should be worried about them. So, Black Church, you got some, you got some work cut out for you because... I don't think you're going to stand up to the test. And like I said before, if you didn't hear what I said in the beginning, I'm not saying all black churches are like this. Because I know the church I went to, my pastor, he don't play that. He's like, look, if you're homosexual, you can come. If you're not willing to give up your lifestyle, well, then like I said, and people are going to say, well, what about the other sins? He does the other sins too. If you're not willing to give up your fornicating ways, your stealing ways, you're murdering, thieving. If you're not willing, he'll kick you out the church. He kicks everybody out the church, so he keeps it flunky. And I kind of respect that. But as far as the black church goes, you give them a little bit of money, and you get whatever you want. It's a, and you get the you get the you get the red carpet to heaven. And heaven forbid you're Barack Obama, because then you then then you just sing some slave song that you don't sing in any other damn church. You get the silk flag. <laughs> It was that they didn't get the silk count flat for the black president. You know what? I'm out because it's getting funny and funnier by the minute. So you got you got to do something. You got to render under Caesar, or you ain't gonna render under Caesar and stand by your convictions. I say they render under Caesar. I'm out. Peace.